Hey guys, welcome to another Impact FX video, and I hope that you guys um, want to stay for this entire video. I know a lot of people don't like watching psychology videos, but I'm going to give you guys some advice that will fundamentally change your trading based on all the people that I have taught all the people that I deal with on a daily basis and what the common theme is amongst people that are constantly struggling. So let's get into it. All right, guys, psychology is a massive, massive issue for a lot of traders. OK, what I have noticed over the past two and a half, almost three years of, you know, helping people learn price action is there's a few reasons why people have psychology reasons and there's one main reason and it all relates back to this main reason so we're going to go through a couple of the reasons um, that i see and that people come to me and they ask me for help and we're going to circle back on how this relates to one specific problem that people seem to not understand, okay? So one of the main things that I keep getting asked about in one-on-ones and in the chats is, you know, Kyle, I have either fear of taking losses, I have anxiety when I'm looking at the charts, or I just have plain out confusion, plain out confusion. And if you've experienced any of these in the past, then you're not alone, and this is quite common, but there's such an easy, easy solution to all of these issues, okay? And we're gonna, we're gonna put this bucket over here, and we're gonna be talking about some of the other common issues that people have, and then we're gonna group them all and discuss why this is actually such a simple thing for all of you guys to solve. Another common thing I get is the fear of missing out. So a lot of people have FOMO, um, you know, if a trade starts running, they'll actually just enter randomly, um, hoping that they can get a piece of it. Um, they don't have any sort of objective way of entering the market if it's moved away from them. Or again, it goes back to also emotional trading where they don't know how to control their emotions because if they miss the setup, then they're like, oh, I need to get in. Like, I, I just have to get in. I can't, I can't sit at the charts for an hour and, and miss a setup, right? So this is another classic one that has to, again, do with all of your guys' emotions, all right? We're just going to put this over to the bucket again under the emotional trading aspect. Guys, another thing that I see on a daily basis is overtrading. Now, with the way I teach price action and the way in which I show people how price moves, the common reaction to a lot of people is, holy crap, I see so many setups now. I understand price better than I ever have. And now people end up getting consumed with this greed factor. They think that every single candle is a setup. They think every single area is a setup. And they, again, they are kind of emotionally trading because they're, they're trying to just make as much money as they possibly can. And that actually at the end of the day ultimately will be their demise because over trading folks is something that you, you, will absolutely get destroyed at okay it will destroy your PL. and the reason for this is that people can't focus typically for an extended period of time and what they end up doing is they're actually chasing money versus t chasing their system they're more focused on the outcome of the money than they are waiting patiently for their system to play out Therefore, the overtrading starts to now turn into emotional trading because now they're just, if they take a couple losses, they want to make those losses back. If they take a couple wins, now they want to get greedy and they want to keep trading, right? It, it all kind of cascades into back to the emotions. And again, it's going to all relate to one systematic thing that every person that I've seen has an issue with, all right? Okay, so how does this relate back to the number one psychology problem and how can we actually fix this moving forward so we don't end up in the exact same cycle as before? 
and how you can actually stop yourself from having this constant mental cycle of basically how I categorize it as self-sabotage. You, you are actually sitting at the charts, hurting yourself instead of helping yourself. Okay. So what is that main thing that every single person is typically missing? What people are typically missing, you guys, is a trading system, okay? Fundamentally, every single emotional psychology or mental problem that you have at the charts comes down to you have not fundamentally built a trading system that allows you to collect the data so that you can conquer every single one of these situations out of your trading system. Why? Why is that, guys? This is not something that you should just click off the video and say, oh, I have a system. I guarantee you, you probably do not have a system because you have not taken enough trades under a specific rule set to then go back and be able to review. Because here's the thing. How does fear relate to a trading system? Well, if you don't know when your next win will be, if you don't know how many losses in a row your system might take, if you don't know what your win rate is, then you're going to have a lot of fear about trading. If you take two or three losses, you're probably going to be terrified. Every single trade you take is going to feel like a guess because you don't have a system that you can rely on and look back on and say, I know this setup does work. Because when you build a trading system, it's going to start to tell you what your max loss streak was, right? So for instance, if you took 100 trades doing the same thing every time, inside of that system, it would tell you that, hey, you might have a losing streak of six trades in a row before, before your next win. It might tell you that you have a max win streak of five, right? Like all the data that you will be able to collect from this system will start to help with all of this. It will start to help with fear. It will start to help with anxiety. It will start to help with your confusion. Why? Because the next time, like you're at the charts, if you're dealing with confusion, the reason that you're dealing with confusion is you have zero systematic way of looking at the charts. You have not done the work to actually sit there and say, you know what? This setup is an A plus setup for me. Therefore, I'm going to enter that trade. Now, I know that an A-plus setup might not have a 100% win rate, right? That's that's unrealistic to have a 100% win rate on an A-plus setup. But you might have a 60 or a 70 or an 80 or maybe even just a 50% win rate on that setup if you don't add any sort of filters to that setup, okay? So... Once you know that, you're not going to have any more confusion. Now, once you actually build your system, you might be able to add filters so that your win rate goes up dramatically, right? And we're going to talk a little bit about that after here. But you can see, guys, that if you don't have a system, if you don't have data, you will be fearful. You can be confused. You will have fear of missing out. Why? Because you don't know when the next trade might come. And the way I personally trade is there's typically a really solid trade around every half hour to an hour. Okay. So when I get into a trade, my trades typically run 15, 30 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on the uh, mitigation cycle that I'm trading. Therefore, I know that if I miss a trade, then I'm just going to patiently wait either for the continuation 
of that trade. And there's going to be another setup that might be a B setup. Maybe it's not it's not an A plus setup for me, but it could be a B setup. So I'm going to use a little re less risk and I'm still going to shoot for my normal one to five. Right. Or I don't take the trade at all and I wait for the next setup that meets my rules. And I'm okay with sitting at the charts waiting for an hour if that's what it takes. But for a lot of you, you're sitting at the charts for two, three hours and you're taking 20, 30 trades a day and you're wondering like, why do I not have any sort of consistency? Because you're not even trading consistent, right? You're not even actually doing anything daily that is truly consistent that the odds or the edge can play out in your favor, okay? So when we're talking about building a system, guys, we're going to go into just building a very simple system that has zero filters. What do I mean by that? I mean that if you have zero filters, you're most likely going to have a win rate of maybe 40, maybe 50%, depending on how good your initial base system is. Okay. Once you have your base system and you've traded it, and we're going to talk about that, then you can actually add filters to that to make your system maybe have a better strike rate so that you get a better win percentage. Okay. So, if we're talking about psychology, guys, it's so simple when you think about actually doing the work and putting in the work for yourself to build your system, trade only that system. And over time, folks, your psychology will just skyrocket because you'll be able to sit back at the charts and systematically have patience. You'll, you'll have a clear mind for what you want to look for in your trades because you've said to yourself, I have a thousand or a hundred or whatever the number might be of trades that I can rely on that I have personally taken. And if you have taken those trades, you start to build confidence in yourself to trust yourself that, hey, I actually know what I'm doing here. This is not just random chance. And I think this is where the psychology of self-sabotage comes around, because if you have not done the work to put in a, and build a system, you will eventually not trust yourself. Subconsciously, your brain is going to be telling you, you have no idea what you're doing. This is just guessing. And over time, you're going to self-sabotage yourself because you're going to take two, three, four losses. And then you're just going to go for a Hail Mary because you're like, I'm so sick of this. I'm sick of losing. And I just want to freaking make some money. And then you're going to take a Hail Mary and you're going to like blow your account. Okay. It all relates back to the fact that you need to take and make a trading system with data. Otherwise, you will have most likely 0% chance of ever successfully trading any sort of asset uh, on the market. Okay, guys, so for the sake of time, this is going to conclude this overall psychology kind of part one video with you guys. What we're going to be doing is I'm going to be launching another video later this week, and we're going to be discussing how you can actually build a very simple system. Now, this is not going to be my system. It's going to be a, just a blueprint of how you can look at building systems. Because I think a lot of people literally, based on my knowledge and what I've experienced from people, is that they have no clue even how to build a system. They just think trading is the system. And that is 1,000% incorrect. So in coming videos this week, guys, we're going to be going through a bit about how you can create a system for yourself. And then how can you be diligent in trading that system for one solid week? get 20, 30 trades, and then review that data and come back and let's create a better filtered system for the following week. And then as you can see, over the course of an entire month, we will incrementally be able to make that system perfect for what we like to see in the market and we like to trade. And you'll have the data to be able to say, hey, this actually is going to be a profitable system. And I'm going to now tr try and trade this system that I've created myself for the next two, three, four months, what have you, okay? So I hope you guys come back for the next video. There's gonna be a lot of good tidbits on how to create a system. And I hope you uh, got some value out of this video because I hope it's like a gut check for a lot of you because I do believe fundamentally that a lot of people watching these videos and a lot of people trading on a daily basis 
literally just don't have an actual rule-based system that they've ever created. They think they do, but it's not a true system. So I hope that you kind of get encouraged to go out and now build your data, take screenshots of every trade you've ever taken, and start to understand why you lost trades and why you won certain positions, okay? All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.